High traders S&P 500 crashed last week by 5.9% and 2018 is back to red territory down by 3.3%. Compared to February declines which were no more than a technical profit taking pullback, this time Trump provided the economic excuse by raising import taxes and the Chinese responded on, on Wednesday by adding more fuel to the fire. At this point, we need to stop and think what the average investor would do to protect his capital. Would, would the average investor buy the laws? Would he sell? Well, I would definitely sell. My conclusion is I expect more declines. Let's take a technical view of the market. When we look at the S&P 500, we can definitely see that the market has broken some major support, um, support areas, especially the uptrending support line. And therefore, it looks like technically it should continue moving down. Plus, it comes with quite a strong momentum. And momentum is very, very important in trading too. Now, in order to understand the market better, we need to take a look at the weekly chart of the S&P 500. So here's the weekly chart of the S&P 500. Now here, it's again looking like we're down trading recently from the highs. And now we can also look for some kind of support at around the uh, 250 area, to 2500 in fact the S&P 500. So approximately 4% down from where we are right now, it looks like we may find some support. But again, the market was moving up in the past few years and we were looking for a pullback. And right now we do have a technical reversal formation. So most likely, this may be the pullback we were looking for. Let's take a look at my last week picks. My first pick last week was CMCSA short, which did great, over 7% in profits. Uh, stock came down, of course, we had some backwinds from the market, so it really worked out perfectly good. My second pick last week was CPRT long. Sadly, it's triggered. It could have been better than that, but it came down by 3%, which is my max stop loss. So CPRT is out, CMCSA, we're still riding uh, a quarter size. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is ACAD short under $22.35, a biopharmaceutical company. And when the biopharmaceutical companies get hit, they usually get hit strong. But this time it comes down with the market support. So that looks like a very nice technical formation for a breakdown. My second pick for the week is XRX Xerox short under $28.48. Uh, a very nice technical formation for a breakdown, but Please take a look at the weekly too because it gets even better than this. So I wish you a great trading week and I'm looking forward to see you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Before you go, we invite you to take Traders free trading challenge. If you succeed, you will receive free trading education and access to a $14,000 funded trading account that will allow you to trade from home and keep 70% of your profits. Click here to sign up for this no risk, no cost offer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.